ahead to a little bit later this afternoon and tomorrow as far as weather. What's going on? What's this mixed bag, I'm sure? <laughs> well, unlike yesterday, yesterday it was like a hit and miss shower thunderstorm <laughs> activity, which you said you Which I was hit, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we were missed. <laughs> so, um, but today it's actually going to be a line that we're going to track come later on this afternoon. So something that's more predictable. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look here outside our Goodwill Easter Seals Tower camera here. And it's a little early. The sun isn't quite ready to wake up yet. Maybe you're not just having that first cup of coffee here this morning and trying to wake up yourself. You can see here, over Dayton that there are some low clouds in the vicinity and as we go throughout the day today we'll see mixture of clouds and sun and then the front comes through early this afternoon. That front comes through uh, like I said early this afternoon it'll cool temperatures down a little bit and then the temperatures will start to rise a little bit once the storm passes. The winds will also pick up with the passage of this front. This morning we are starting out quiet on Live Doppler 2 HD and again come later on this afternoon we'll be tracking that front and better chances will be in our eastern counties versus our western counties because the front isn't really that far away. As you can see here it's across parts of western Indiana right now and currently no rain is associated with it. The front is going to continue to weaken as it pushes its way eastward. But still as we go into the afternoon hours we'll start to see our chances for rain start to increase and there is a very very slim chance a couple of those storms may become severe, but most areas will not see severe weather today. But if you're taking the dog out for a walk, uh, definitely the morning hours and then once again in the evening looks to be pretty good. It's those mid afternoon hours that could be a little bit tricky with those showers and storms. And like I said, the severe weather impacts today pretty low if existent at all. Strong winds within a thunderstorm and heavy downpours are a possibility. Right now we have temperatures starting out in the 60s, a little bit cooler in outlying areas, 63 in Bell Fountain, 62 in Springfield. Otherwise, everyone else is generally in the mid 60s, including Dayton at 67 degrees. South winds at five miles an hour. We'll see a wind shift come later on this afternoon to the northwest. Pressures at 29.92 inches. So if you're golfing today, starting out early, you should be fine. Mixture clouds and sun. This, af this afternoon, though, watch out for that line of scattered showers and storms. But if you do have a barbecue plan for later on this evening, the sky should be clearing out. It should actually be pretty nice as we go into the evening hours. Future tracks showing that pretty much everything is going to start blossoming around early afternoon, say after 1 o'clock. And then by 5 to 8 o'clock, everything should be clearing out. We'll start to see mainly clear skies during the overnight hours. Then on Monday, there could be an very slim chance of an isolated shower or storm, but most areas remaining dry and a beautiful day. Today, 82 for that top temperature. Then tonight, we'll see diminishing winds and clearing skies down to 62 degrees. And then tomorrow, partly sunny, isolated shower or storm, high of 82. Your extended Storm Team 2 forecast, lower humidity for this week ahead, temperatures in the upper 70s for the middle of the week, then warming up by next weekend. And of course, you can always stay up to date with the very latest Storm Team 2 